Do you want to know how to post on Pinterest using Metricool? In the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about how to schedule videos using Metricool for Pinterest, even though Pinterest says you can't do it. My name is Elise Nelson and I help tech challenge makers build a profitable e-commerce brand. Thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel where I offer lessons that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. In this short video, I'm going to share with you how to schedule videos on Metricool for Pinterest using one of my favorite scheduling hacks. Before we jump into this maker lesson, I'd love to know, do you use Pinterest for your e-commerce business? Why or why not? Leave a comment and let me know. Did you know that you cannot post a video to Pinterest using Metricool? Do you know why? It's because Pinterest API doesn't allow video posting from third-party schedulers. But I have a hack for you that you that can help you get around this problem. And today, I'm going to teach you how to do it. But before we talk about video and how to beat the system to allow posting a video to, using a third-party scheduler like Metricool, which is, of course, my favorite scheduler, let's talk about image posts. Thankfully, Pinterest has not blocked your ability to auto post images to the feed. So you can schedule image pins to Pinterest the same way as posting to any other social media platform. If you haven't watched the videos about how to post using Metricool and how to post using a spreadsheet with Metricool, you'll want to go back and watch those videos. There's a link to the entire Metricool playlist in the description. So here's the playlist. And this one here is how to post um, just manually in Metricool. And this video is how to use spreadsheets to post. So these are the two videos you're going to want to watch to know how to schedule auto posting with your images for Pinterest pins. Before we jump into the rest of this lesson, please like this video. Also, be sure to stick with me to the end of the video to learn your challenge for today and implement what you've learned. Now that you know how to schedule an image pin to Pinterest, let's talk about how to schedule a video post using my little hack. The short version is that you won't schedule it to Pinterest at all. Instead, you will schedule it to Instagram Stories or Instagram Reels. Why? Because with Instagram, you can get notification posting. And when you get those notifications, you can take that content and post it anywhere you want, including Pinterest. Now, in the last video, I showed you exactly how to schedule video content for notification posting. So if you missed that video, you'll want to go back and watch it. But before you run off and schedule your all your Pinterest videos using Metricool's notification feature for Instagram, I have a few quick tips to make the most of this hack. If you want more help with your e-commerce brand, subscribe and sign up for notifications on my YouTube channel where I offer lessons that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. All right, so let's jump into the notification posting tips for Pinterest. Number one, you want to make sure that you set it to not auto publish. So if you are working on an auto list, which I covered in another video in this series, you want to make sure you open up your Instagram presets. So you can click here to open this or close this and that auto publish is turned off. If auto publish is on, this will post to your Instagram feed. We don't want that. We want it to be off so that you can get the notification and post to Pinterest instead. All right. So if you are creating a post manually, you're not using an auto list, then you're going to want to make sure that you select either story or real so that it'll automatically do manual posting for the same reason that we just talked about. That's tip number one. Make sure you've got it set up for notification posting instead of, instead of auto posting to the feed, to the feed on Instagram. Number two, you want to be sure to put something at the beginning of the copy so that you know the post is for Pinterest and you don't get confused with your Instagram posts. So for example, on this one here, I put PT for Pinterest with these little lines. So when this comes through my notification posting and I go to post it to Instagram, when I click the post button, it will automatically download the, the creative, the video, and it'll automatically copy this text. So when I paste this text onto my Pinterest pin, I'll want to make sure I delete this so that it doesn't show up. But this is a way so you can immediately tell this is coming through as an Instagram notification, but it's actually for Pinterest. Number three, don't forget to install the Metrical app on your phone and edit the notification presets in the post so that you get the notification on your phone. So right here is another little drop down. You want to make sure you go into this and that it says it is coming to your phone. If it doesn't say that, you're not going to get the notification. You're not going to be able to post it. So make sure you double check that. Number four, when you see the notification come up on your phone, don't open it until you're ready to post to Pinterest. Otherwise, that notification will go away and you'll completely forget to post at all. So I highly recommend just leaving that notification there until you're at a moment where you can go ahead and pin post the pin to Pinterest. 
And number five, you want to consider posting your pin as an idea pin and a feed pin to get more eyes on it. So before I let you go, I want to talk to you a little bit about the idea pins. Um, idea pins are consistently being shown to more people than feed pins on Pinterest. I see sometimes 10, even 20 times more views on idea pins than on regular pins. So you may want to consider using these videos for idea pins in addition to your regular Pinterest pins. And you can again use Instagram notification posting to get those idea pins up. Now today's quick question was, do you use Pinterest for your e-commerce business? Why or why not? Leave a comment and let me know. If you want more of these tutorials, make sure to watch my last YouTube video about how to post on TikTok with Metricool, and that's where I also show you how to use notification posting. In the next video, I will answer the question, can I monitor competitors' social media on Metricool? Don't forget to join the Social Media Growth Challenge to create 17 weeks of short-form vertical video for TikTok, Stories, and Reels, and of course, Pinterest. Links are in the description of this video. And your challenge for today is to schedule one idea pin and or video pin for Pinterest using Instagram notification posting. Afterwards, come back and tell me how it went and if you plan to use this hack for your business. Don't forget to live your dream every single day and I will see you in the next video.